Hey, good evening. This is B from Kongs R Us, and uh, I have some early access to the Taito Volume 3 Pinball Pack, and so I figure I'd just do my first thoughts and live gameplay of the packs to see what they are. And I'm actually really excited for Bubble Bobble Pinball. Of all the Taito packs that have come out, the um, you know first Space Invaders pack was kind of cool, a name brand game, plus a couple other ones that were based off of arcade titles. Uh, you know, the Operation Wolf Table. Uh, for the second table and then bubble bubble pinball this is the one that actually has me the most excited because i was a big fan of uh of bubble bubble so um yeah i'm excited to just get in here and play it in fact here's my favorite part of playing the game what's up michael check this out if you guys can hear this i turned on the game and the game volume it's actually playing the real music from the bubble bobble game so this is super exciting so i'm really excited to play this and uh, check it out it looks like a really simplistic table uh you know there's four tables on the pack right now what's going on thanks spider-man pjs not quite in my pjs just yet but uh you know i like to wear my my marvel shirts what's up deandre thanks for joining so let's go ahead and just get in here and play and see if i can uh you know i heard the music while i was playing oh Oh, that's so much fun that it has the background music playing. Oh, I'm so glad that they got rid of the um, that generic techno pop that was playing on the old tables. But this is really cool. All right, that's pretty awesome. All right, so first off, I kind of like that already. Uh, and, oh, okay, so this is oh this is the video game table where you're attacking little monsters at the same time. So this is the same as the Space Invaders one. And the other table as well. Here's the cool thing that I've done with my At Games Legends pinball table. If you guys haven't noticed it, <laughs> what's up, Brad? Correct music. I know I, I didn't realize that. I haven't watched too many reviews. I'm gonna turn on my flipper solenoid so you guys can see what's going on. You guys feel that? That's real flipper solenoids going off on my Legends pinball machine. So I have a. Uh, I think it is, um, forget, is it Phil? Phil's Cleveland Software Design. Has a kit where you can upgrade your Legends Pitball Machine with flipper solenoids. So I can play stock games and still have real flipper sounds. In addition to no surround sound feedback, because that's a little harder to pull off with the stock games. But, uh,. The game's music is worth it for the is worth the price of admission just to play this game with the original music. That's exciting. Do you remember Bubble Bobble? Alright, I'm gonna try to get Mrs. Kongzeros to see if she'll come in here and play the game and remember this. And I'm glad it's not just like a I mean the gameplay is similar, but the, at least the table features look different than Space Invaders and the other game. You need to get that kit. Yeah, right, Mike Asuna? Yeah. And he has Bubble Bobble. I played the I also played the crap out of a lot of Bubble Bobble growing up too. So the music is just really nostalgic for me right now. In fact, I think I'm gonna have this song stuck in my head for the rest of like the next couple of days. This is fun. Oh, this is so exciting. Some new animations too, and it's like not just like a quick rehash of um, instead of like fighting aliens or fighting people or armies. It looks like they did a little bit of more design work on this table, in my opinion, so far. Because the other the other second table was it Operation Wolf? I don't know if I'm getting that right, but was almost a direct copy of Space Invaders. But I feel like this is a little bit more unique. It's been a while since I've played my Legends pinball table though, I'll tell you that much. But it, it feels nice, it feels somewhat same. So you're shooting the, the people that are coming down and you're trying to hit certain targets to either gain ammunition or to pull up or build up your specials. So I got my two dinosaurs that are shooting. See if I can play one round of this. Ooh, I got, a, I got a fireball. The fireball is still there. Fireball. Oh, I didn't take it out of anybody. Alright, 
Where's my ball gone? There it goes. The key to these games isn't really actually hitting the the enemies with your ball. It's actually going after the targets and, and trying to make sure you have ammo and some of the specials. So that is what I've learned in terms of the key to success in these games. Don't try to aim for the, the actual people. Try to aim for the targets. That's the key to success. Oh, we made it up the ramp. Good. Yes, Michael, the stock, that uh, Cleveland software design, check it out. I think I still have a 5% a discount code for people to use. I, and I haven't talked to Phil in a while. There's been some new people that have gotten the Legends Pinball Machine that have asked recently if I ever did a tutorial for it. And I never did. I actually recorded the tutorial of me doing an install on a stock Legends Pinball. So uh, I, I have the footage. I've just not... Um, I've not edited it and put it together, so I think that's something that I could do to encourage more people to get it. Because I think, I think playing these games with that that stock flipper solenoid sound is just such such a better experience playing. And these stock games, I mean games that are playing on a stock table, I think the Taito games really showcase the best that the At Games Legends um, pinball hardware has to offer. I mean the games. Colors, sounds look good, the, the the ball looks pretty smooth. The only thing that's lacking is your feedback. We all know the haptic feedback on your panel sounds like ass. It sounds like farting above my fingers right now. So there's that that haptic feedback absolutely blows. But feeling the solenoids flip when I'm flipping the buttons or flippers is a really nice feeling. I'd highly recommend that. 15,000. Monster wave. Oh, okay. I got new monsters coming. There's a lot of them this time. Okay. Alright, so now when the waves get stronger, it's harder to hit targets now. Alright. Do they have something for the letters or the lighting? Um, I'm not sure. Where's my ball? Are you talking about in the game? Okay, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. All right, oh, wrong one. Okay, am I running out of ammo yet? Okay. Got some ammo. Frozen, Let's see if I can hit a missile up there. So that's some more targets. Missile, that should do it. Ooh, I got hurricane. But there's no more monsters on the screen. Oh, stage six completed. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, monsters. Oh, I hate that when you like time one of the power-ups and then there's no monsters on the screen. Yeah, in the arcade, you collect the letters. I don't see any letters so far for the Bubble Bobble game that I can see. It's just the various different monsters that you would actually see in the game. It actually looks like them too. So 3D versions of Bubble Bobble, it's pretty fun. Kick back, all right. And sometimes, like these games, feel like they're lasting forever. It's not about how many um, how many balls you have. It's if you can keep these little things alive. And I have three of them that are about to die. No, no. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. I feel like I'm gonna die soon. Missile, missile. There's too many of these guys. Too many. Half life. Boom. 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 I'm on stage six right now, completed. I'm on stage seven now. I need some more ammo though. We need some more ammo. Or got lightning or things that allowed you to clear the board and move fast. Yeah, these games have like different types of things where you get different power ups. Hello, Mrs. Kongzeras. This is the camera right over here. You want to say hello? What do you remember about the game Bubble Bobble? Does it look like this? Yeah, but it has the characters though. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. That it kind of looks like the characters. It even has the music. Did you hear the music earlier too? That's pretty iconic, right? Yeah. 
So Ad Games just released this volume three version of this pack of pinball. So there's four new tables, and this is one of the tables. Made by Taito. Yeah. After I finish that this game, you wanna like play? T for Taito. Yeah. Taito's the, the game developer that owned Bubble Bubble. So they made pack versions of the game. So in the arcade, seven, Michael Cena says in the arcade you collect letters or got lightning and things that allowed you to clear the board or move fast. Yeah, like I never played this in the arcade. I mostly played it on the like Super Nintendo. Yeah. You like, yeah, right? Yeah. Or not Super Nintendo, or not, regular NES, right? Yeah, a console or something like that, but definitely yeah. not on arcade. Yeah. This was not the game you would play in arcade. This is a reimagined brand new game for the first time. You're looking at a bubble bobble pinball machine. Or maybe, I don't know if they've made a bubble pop. Oh wow, okay. I died. Alright. What I... up, El Kongs? of Kuma Rev, you've been drinking. <laughs> What's going on? Rev's in the house. Oh wow, so like, these aren't available right now? Raymond Reed says he can't wait to download these tomorrow. Yeah, so we got a special early preview pack. Mm -hmm. At Games was kind enough mm -hmm. to send me a redemption code in my digital locker. So a couple things. My digital locker, that was the first time that... Um, I've used that system to download something that was put into my um, accounts. So I was excited to see how easy that was. You just went to My Digital Locker, redeem it. So if you get the codes, that's where you're going to do it. No more punching in random little oh, you're things. Oh, using my camera. You just reminded me. I need to grab that for work. Yes. Okay. So let's see if I got onto the leaderboard. So um, look at that. <gasps> look at that. I'm number one on the leaderboard so far. There's not a ton of people in here, but look, Mike... Demurka, uh, LB Brown, Dante Foss. I don't see Michael B or P-Dubs or anybody on here. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I am already top person number one on the ranking boards because only I think uh, only a few people have really played this so far. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting smashed, but I can already say I am number one in Bubble Bobble Pinball for now. So on the pre-release side of things, that's pretty cool. Cool. All right. So what's up? Can't wait to get these. How am I liking the new Taito pack so far? You plan on picking it up on Friday. So I've just played uh, Bubble Bobble so far just to check it out. And so far, my first impression of like the Bubble Bobble table, like I think it's my favorite out of the, the video game pinball tables. There was like, you know, previously, um, uh, let's see. Oh, I, I just want to double check and make sure that I'm, I'm saying it right. Because there's Arkanoid, Bubble Bobble, Rainbow Islands, and the Legend of cage here and there's also let's go to the other ones too there's um let's go to tables let's go to following two was it operation wolf operation wolf yeah so there's operation wolf then there's space invaders so out of those three types of video game pinball games bubble bobble seemed to be my favorite and one of the biggest reasons why the music the fact that they got the actual music of bubble 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 in here already a win i think that's what we wanted to see from all the other games and not that generic 80s kind of techno music. So, all right. So let's, uh, in here, by the way, I know I'm kind of moving around, but this in the, the My Digital Locker, by the way, this is awesome. Going to My Digital Locker and redeeming these, that is really, really cool. You just go there, you click on it, redeem it, and then you go to the pack and you download it. So I really don't update my pinball table unless I absolutely have to. Um, so I'm now on the latest updates. You go to App Store X. There's your Taito Pinball Volume 3 that's there. And you're downloading it and we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and play. I want to play Arkanoid next. That's the next most name brand arcade game that I recognize. And then there's Rainbow Islands and then The Legend of Cage. So I'm going to try playing Arkanoid, which originally was a spinner game, right? You would normally play that with a spinner or a trackball. And then you're flipping a ball, not flipping a ball, to be able to hit Block. So that actually, from a game perspective, feels like most translatable to pinball. So that's exciting. So let's go ahead and play Arkanoid. I'm actually curious what the high score is. So there's Drakey83, and Dubs is on here with 407,000. I know that's really hard to see there. So let's see if we can beat Dubs Store 407,000 with Arkanoid. I'm already number one in Bubble Bobble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Michael, thanks for joining the Kongs R Us crew, man. Appreciate you for being a member. I don't have all my other uh, assets on StreamYard that I would normally do, but thank you. Mrs. Kongs R Us should come over here and say thank you to Michael for joining the Kongs R Us crew. All right, Arkanoid. This is very cool. I like the table design so far. It looks really interesting with a couple of different 
um, shoots here and the background is very simple. Am I supposed to do? Michael joined the Kong's Zero Rescue, so... Thank you, Michael! Yay. I was, you know, busy doing mom stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like helping kids with homework. Oh, P-Dub's Arcade Loft. Dude, eight people have the game and they just turned the leaderboards on a few hours ago. Wow. Yeah! <laughs> Me and Dubs are gonna try to go for number one on, uh, on Bubble Bobble. I'm number one already, P-Dub's. I can say it. I have video proof now, so come get it. Come get it. All right, P-Dub's is telling Mrs. Kong's how it is. Um, <laughs> Didn't even realize you had a join section now. Remember, thanks. You're distracting you from work. <laughs> you love Arkanoid, right? S Jab, this is a really fun table. I don't remember the Arkanoid music, if this is the same, but this is fun. Do you want to try playing in a game? Okay. Testing how it is. All right, Mrs. Kong's arrest is going to play while I drink her beer. Let's uh, start. Press the start button right here. Too many buttons to push. Too many buttons, and these are your flippers. Yeah. Okay. Not the nudge ones, the fl yeah, the top ones. So the red ones. I had them on like that. Yeah, the right ones. Not the nudge, touch this right. one instead. Mrs. Kong's Arrest is playing Arkanoid. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Nope, no clue. Uh, hit the hit the flashy things. I am seeing that. I mean, hit those solid light thingies. All right, this is a game where you only have three balls and you're already on your last ball. Yep, I want that beer. What if I drink it all? And you get me another beer, obviously. I like how you keep nudging me with something. What are you nudging what me with? Nudging with you? All right, so do you, know, do you ever watch that movie, Bad Santa? Seriously, and you're like, what are you nudging me with? Nudge! <laughs> Nudge! <laughs> I got it from Mrs. Kong's arrest. All right, here, I'm gonna play a game. Well, let's get out of the way. No. <laughs> you keep nudging me on camera. There you go. I was just showing you how to nudge. There is no physical nudge. I think you can physically nudge, but there's also buttons to nudge for the most part. All right, we're going to play this again. We need 407,000 points. So here's the thing about these tables. It kind of tells you what you need to do. So there's 1,000 points here, 1,000 points to advance. There's a whole reward, some bumpers there. Yeah, it's definitely the original music. That's good to know. Hey, what's up, A-Tran Fanatic? All right, the loads. Yes. You can read through chat and see if there's anything worth saying hello to the people. Mm -hmm. Michael Suna's at work. We're watching a stream. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Turn back towards you a little bit more. Oh, because nobody wants to look at you. Yeah, they want to look at you. I don't know if it's just like me, but sometimes like the sound goes out on one of the speaker sides. So that's kind of weird. It kind of did that on Bubble Bobble, like where the sound was loud and then all of a sudden it turned off. So I don't know if there's an issue with the sound or not because I was playing and then it sounded like one speaker just went out. So I just only got 36,000 on my first ball. That's not that great. S Jab said Beer and Arkanoid, thumbs up. Beer and Arkanoid. Uh, and Michael Suna is just working from home super late. Uh, super late nights, burning that midnight oil wherever you're at, Michael Suna. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, already, I'm already down two balls. Dang it, only 59,000. I might have to play this table a couple more times, because now that I know that P-Dubs is at 400,000, I have a target. And the, I honestly think that's one of the best things about the App Games Legends Pinball and just getting these new tables is that you almost want to try playing as soon as the table comes out because you have a pretty good chance of getting onto the leaderboard and, and getting like a high score that is pretty competitive. And so I think early on, I like playing these games, especially like when there's a pinball tournament. I'm like, oh, I want to jump in now so I can get top three and say I was top three before somebody else turn, like you know, goes crazy. So I'm going to try it one more time. You want to try it one more time or no? I'm going to get another beer. You're going to, okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try one more time for Arkanoid, and then I'm gonna try the other two tables. Here's your obstacle. My obstacle? Oh my goodness, oh yeah. Oh, don't bring the, oh. Here's the other thing why I don't play pinball that often, is because, thank you, now I have a cat 
walking on top of my table. Wow, he actually listened to you. Oh, I know. Usually he's there, like, distracting me hardcore. Hey, buddy. Can you come here? What's up, Juan? Thanks for joining the stream. Doing some late night gameplay of the new Taito game packs. Oh, so, oh, I finally get it. So these drop targets in the middle are pretty much replicating the Arkanoid things that you break, too. Oh, I just noticed that. That is actually, when you can actually combine elements of the actual game, that's pretty cool. So this whole section right there, that's fun. All right, so let's see what happens if I break all those targets. I think that's what I need to be doing. All right, dang it. Sometimes you just have to like flip the ball so you can kind of figure out what's happening on the table. And oh man, that resets each time too. All right, so this is a bad run right now as well. All right, I'm going to do something that I normally do often when I play these games. Is you hit the setting button and you just, uh, you, you quit the game. Oh, I'm quitting the game. I actually just wanted to like keep playing. All right, where did I, like I'm barely 76,000. All right, we got to play that again. Got to play it one more time. I, re I like restart games all the time. If I'm doing high score runs and I already drained the first ball in the first 30 seconds, I'm not wasting my time on the other balls. I'm going to reset the game so I can have at least a good first run. I mean, that's exactly what, what, what you need to be doing. Give you the laser guns. What are the laser guns? What's up, s -Jod? All right, so we're going to do this one more time. All right, so if I start the game, I think it's quit play. Maybe. Yeah, and then we would start the game. So quit play, and then it starts the game. All right, so that's what I need to do. If I'm going to restart the table, all right, my aim is to get at least 100,000 on the first ball. Otherwise, we're restarting the table. I'm going to beat I'm gonna beat P-Dub's high score live on stream. That's because that's what I normally do. I try to see somebody and just aim for that score. The other thing about the physics of these tables too, like they, these tables almost feel like they could be real tables. Like the physics of the ball feels pretty decent. Uh, the only thing that's like pretty non-realistic about these tables is the um, kind of the space of the flippers for you, for the ball to drain. On a lot of real pinball tables, like the space for the the hole, the gap for the ball to like fall through is like unforgiving. Oh, I just like died right there. Michael Suna says you can gather power-ups from the blocks and sticky paddles and guns that shoot from the paddle. Oh, okay. And s Jab says, oh yeah, laser oh, yeah. cannon. Ooh, longer paddles. Oh, a longer paddle. He's talking about the Arkanoid paddle. Do you even know what the game Arkanoid is? Do you remember that game? Nope. So do you imagine a game that has a bunch of like these these blocks at the top and then you have that little, little thing on the bottom and you move it from left to right and there's a ball that goes bing, bing. Like break yep. wall, yeah. You know that, so that's that's Arkanoid essentially. They made it like a a space theme break wall. I'm sure there's other versions of that game that are called something else, mm -hmm. right? Like, don't you remember it being called like Breaker or something? Or yeah, Breaker. Like that's the the newest one is like um, the sit down where multiple people can play with you. Oh really? And that's our kids' favorite one. Really? Yeah. You don't remember that one? It's, um, it's like a the little alien cell phone guys game? that come down. Yeah. So it's not so much a wall. Well, it's a wall of aliens coming down on you. Oh, okay. Does anybody remember that game or know oh. what the game's called? All right, it's terrible. I'm already like past my high score, but I'm like doing so terrible unless I have like an amazing third ball run. Donuts makes it seem like we're up super late. Oh, on the on the West Coast, it's not too late. Yeah, the West Coast, we're at 9.46, which is almost kids' bedtime. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, so... Eight, eight, Let's do um, another run. Atran Fan... Oh, my God. Atran Fanatic. Atran Fanatic. Transformers, Transformers is Fanatic. It's like uh, the break, Breakout, but more into it. Breakout. That was the name of it. Yeah. I feel like this is like... That's the type of game you would call it. It's like Breakout, but then Arkanoid was just a themed version of that. Alright, you gotta be really careful when you're here. Oh, even S Jobs says he remembers there are lasers, so right. somehow they're incorporated into this table. Yeah, once you once you get certain power-ups, you can definitely shoot lasers. I don't know if there's gonna be lasers on the pinball version, but we will see. But that's really hard. So when you hit those drop targets, like those are just danger spots for it to just drain really quickly. So you have to be really careful when you're hitting the drop targets there. 
Oh no. Space uh, Invaders right, is a wall I'm of doing. aliens. Thank you, S Jab. Space Invaders? Yeah. Does not like Space Invaders at all. Here, do you want to try a Hogmosa? Eat some pineapple gummy okay, bears you... and take a sip of beer. All right, you play a game. So I've resetted it three times now. <laughs> you were talking about like shooting aliens, but this is yeah. not. Instead of like, this is the one with like a paddle and a ball that like comes back and breaks walls. Mm. If you're not shooting one way, it comes back at you. We are eating some gummy bears. Mrs. Kongdras is concentrating hard on her pinball. <laughs> so hard. So hard. You need some help nudging? No, nudging is distracting. Nudge. 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 Remember all the times that you were distracting me while I was playing? Yeah. Not working. Nope. Gotta work on our lighting. I need to get like our light, light bar. Do you want to see distraction while playing? I can go like this. People can't see it, but... Nope, they cannot. What are you Alright, this is what Mrs. Conger is doing. She's trying to play and put her foot on the table ah! at the same time. Why? I have no idea. I can go all the way up here, too. Why? What, why would you play pinball that way? Because it's hilarious. There's no logical reason for you to be pinned on. Wait, the other camera can catch me. Why do you put your foot on the table? It would have to be over here. <laughs> Alright, you're just being silly now. Uh, I lost the ball. Alright. Foot on table, at least. This is why Mrs. Contra has joined stream, so that she can be distracted. Alright. Alright, last time I playing... didn't distract you this time. Oh. You want some more Pogmosa? No, I really want to get the high score in this game. In fact, I think... Oh no. Alright, I want to... I want to just do one player, not three. No, we got. I probably Gummies. after this stream, I probably Gummies. will be playing again until I beat the high score. In beer. Hello, Gummies. Hmm. Alrighty. What's my favorite table so far? My dining room table. <laughs> uh, we've only played two tables so far, Polo. We've only played Arkanoid oh, and Bubble Bobble. Oh. Yeah, we've only played two. So this is my second, and I, I really want to do at least one one decent run. If I can get one decent run in, I'm going to move to the other tables. But I mean, play-wise, like... this was fun because it had that little well in the center. Yeah, it has like a lot of like different elements, mm -hmm. and you like you like a pinball table that has several elements to yeah. it. That it's not simple, oh. but then it just it drains so fast. Why? Okay. I feel like this is um this table is gonna bug me. Like I can't even. I want to be able to get all these uh, targets dropped so far. I think right now they're... Oh, the, maybe the first layer is 100? And then I have to break it like one layer at a time? Wow, Donuts was just outside shoveling snow. Intense, man. We're finally gonna get rain tomorrow in Southern California. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Hollywood Polo asks, do you, which one do you like best so far of the two games we've played? <laughs> oh, 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 so what else, what else comes with this um, Uh There's called... Ed a Rage of Cage or something, and something else. The two other games, I didn't recognize the names of those titles, so they are all, all based off, off of real arcade games, but I've never heard of those games before. So like, were they, were these all pinball games before? No, they're or? brand new oh, okay. games, so they're oh, like okay. uh, arcade games, but then they just skinned them and made pinball versions of those games. Oh. So that's pretty cool. So they made like a, a Space Invaders pinball game. And they made a bubble bubble version of pinball game. And I think this was, uh, it's coming out on officially on Friday to get. So I think this weekend people will have a lot of fun playing these games. So far these two have been pretty worth it. And these tables are pretty cheap. I think it's only like $20 for like the full four tables. 
you're paying like five dollars a game and if you were playing this in an arcade like a real arcade oh dang it all right i died at least i got two hundred thousand. okay i can leave for right now i can leave for right now um but i was if i was playing a dollar a game i would have paid more than five dollars just on that single run right there so Ooh, Hollywood Polo wanted to tell me that he watched okay. AEW Wrestling Look, tonight. Look, all right, I'm I am fifth so far right wait, now. Wait, wait, wait! You're you're interrupting me. Oh, go ahead. Hollywood Polo wanted to tell me that he watched AEW Wrestling tonight. Daniel Bryan was great, but too many filler matches. What is AEW? All Elite Wrestling. Oh. It is a new competitor to the WWE Wrestling. So some of the you know WWE superstars have moved over. Got it. Mm-hmm. So I'm fifth place so far behind uh, Drakey, P Dubs, Arcade Loft has two different scores here. Why uh, does Dub here? have Dubs and DUI? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Dub, do, do, you need, do you need intervention? <laughs> dubs is listed here as Dub and then DUI down here. So that's why he has two different scores. And Tampa Tech is number three. All right, so I'm number five right now. That's okay. I can, uh, I can get back into the leaderboards. Let's play the next two games. We have two more games to play. One is called Rainbow Islands and The Legend of Cage. Which game would you like to play? Rainbow Islands or The Legend of Cage? Obviously Rainbow Islands. Rainbow Please. Islands. All right, Rainbow Islands it is. It says, Bubby and Bobby, who have returned to humans, have learned the magic of Rainbow from their parents who helped them. One day, the two of them went out to hunt for treasure on Rainbow Island and came across an unexpected truth there. What is the unexpected truth? True Nemesis is waiting for your challenge. This pinball table includes such pinball par parts as drops and spot targets, bop bumpers, and two flippers. Oh, I it's, feel like it's one of those, like, Daiso. Um, uh, only two people have leaderboards, Dante Frost and Drakey. And um, so we just need to beat 131,000, and we can be number one. All right, ready to be number one? Go. Hold my beer. Hold your beer. Let's She's finish play Island. Rainbow Island. Presented by Ad Games, licensed by Taito, Taito, developed by Magic Pixel. Magic Pixel's been doing a pretty decent job with these tables, so kudos to them. They don't feel like just reskins. They look. Oh, this is a really nice, colorful table. Mm. I like it I'm so far. I'm gonna get distracted. Mhm. Mm I like the design of this table so far. Rainbow Islands. It um really matches the name of the cab so far. Finger. Whoops. But yeah, there's a lot of flippers. There's three flippers on the right side. There's two on the left side. But uh, ah. uh she's already down two balls. So this is the story of Bubble Bobble 2. Is this the sequel? It's, I don't I need ah, no. What up Josh? Wow, she only got you gotta press it through some. Okay, go. Which button do I push? Like so One more time, there push. you go. The story of Bubble I don't, I've never played this game before. It says the story of Bubble Bobble 2. Is this really Bubble Bobble 2? I gotta do some more of my research before I play some of these games. But um, this has a really, a really open play field, a lot of different ramps, and now it has a, a cat, a cat, um, a cat element. Uh, a cat element, yes. Who likes to chase the balls and look at them. Becomes entertainment for the cats Ooh, as well. Oh, I got it in a hole. Mm hmm. You got the ball in a hole. Alright, baby. Dude, the table looks fast. So, yeah, so Josh, to your point, any of these tables that have really open play fields, it makes it feel really fast. So, you really are concentrating on shooting those ramps and getting them into the certain targets. So, this is a table that would absolutely play much faster than a normal table. There's not a lot of like spaces for it to get kind of caught and to loop around. So uh, you, this table is one I feel like is gonna be a drain monster. If you're playing this table in the arcade, in fact, my Star Wars pinball table, my stern one, is exactly like that. It's an open play field design, so it's really fast. And uh, you really have to concentrate on shooting your, your ramps and getting in there, because there's not a lot to stop the ball in the center. So. So far, I like the table design. All right, my turn. Oh, wait. I reached the... You got 101,000. Good job. All right. With the cat. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to ask the cat to move so I can play for reals. All right. Come on, Tabby. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Come, come. Let's go. Okay. All right, let's try it out. Rainbow Islands, the story of Bubble Bubble 2. Advanced score spinner, 1,000. Um, I think Dub was saying this about these old style tables. It pretty much tells you 
exactly what to go for on the table here. Spot targets, bonus score increase. That goes up to 100,000 here if I can get that to go up. Bumper score 1,000. So spinner score, drop targets. Drop targets, advanced drop score when special went all down. Drop special rewards 100,000 and lights double bonus. All right. That's what we're going for. So we're going to try to hit all those drop targets at the top. And then we're going to see if we can light up the other lighter ones too. Alright. The other thing that I really like about, um... Oh my goodness, I didn't see that. There's like, there's a hole right here. Oh, what? Alright, so the ball like goes up this area and there's literally like a hole right here. That's... That's pretty annoying from a pinball standpoint that <laughs> there was a hole there. It's like, wow. All right. Um, but I was saying like the for these Taito tables, and I think the Zakaria tables, they really got the, the physics on their pinball table pretty well. Like I, I pretty I got 2,000 points only. Mrs. Kong's arrest is like killing my score so far. She got like a 100,000 points, and I barely have 3,000 right now. So the I was yeah the, I li I like the physics so far on this tables and that was a terrible score, thirty three thousand on my first play. All right, let's try it again. I like the design elements of the table so far. I'm not liking how I'm doing on the table of like if I'm already this bad, it's one of those tables that feel like it could be annoying because there's so many flippers and I was draining really fast. So an open table that runs really fast can sometimes be very frustrating to play because it's like. The further you are from actual targets to hit, the more precise you have to be in your shots. Like if I have to aim all the way to the top to kind of hit something, and I'm like coming all the way from the bottom down here, it's just really hard to hit targets. I mean, that's why there's all these extra flippers to shoot stuff, but it just kind of becomes one of those tables that's a little bit annoying to play. So from a visual standpoint, I like this, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna, from a pinball standpoint, I'm gonna enjoy playing this table just because of the open play field and the ability to hit shots is just really far away. That's just a personal opinion, but otherwise the design looks nice. I don't know anything about this game though. I've never played Rainbow Islands, the story of Bubble Bobble 2. So I have no idea if there's other gameplay elements. I don't know if the music matches the game itself. That would be pretty cool. The marquee game, if you guys are just joining, we started off by playing Bubble Bobble, and the fact that they had the real legit Bubble Bobble music playing was already a win. I think this pack is just worth it for Bubble Bobble alone. And the gameplay of that game was way more improved, in my opinion, than Operation Wolf or Space Invaders. I think just the, the look, I think having the game music is like a huge, huge deal. Like to have Bubble Bobble and to not have that game music would have been a crime. So I'm absolutely happy and thrilled that uh, the Taito folks in Magic Pixel were able to include the real game music. Cause that, Bubble Bobble is not Bubble Bobble unless you have that iconic music. Like, I, I'm gonna have that song like, just stuck in my head the rest of the time. In fact, it's interesting cause in the old, oh dang it, that was a terrible run. Okay, I'm gonna play one more time, 101,000. That was my new high score. I think I gotta be like 131,000 to get to the to number one spot. Um, I think in the first two packs, the Taito packs, one of my biggest complaints was the music for all the games sounded so similar. It just sounded like this old 80s techno-like beat that was just recycled with a different drum, drum synthesizer machine. And it was rinse and repeat, at least so far. I don't know if this is the same music from the actual game, but every game has had its own musical style. So I've, I've already liked it that much so far. The fact that there's different game music than the other ones. So that's a win. Win, win, win. Oh no! Okay, so I can't hit the ball up there because it's gonna like drop. So that's... It's hard to catch the ball on this left flipper too because if you catch the ball here, it's gonna go down that drain. Dead catch on the left flicker, juggle to the right, and then try that ramp shot. See? Oh, see? I can't... Oh, I can't, right? So what are you saying? Dead catch the left flipper, juggle to the right, then try that ramp shot. Every shot is kind of long range for sure. B, what's your favorite Bobble 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 video game? I remember playing the one in the um on NES is probably the only one that I remember. But I yeah. This table is frustrating for sure because I can't I can't catch the ball on the left side nor like I normally would. 
you have to kind of like catch it from the left. So yeah, left flipper you have to just kind of shoot and go for it. You can't really catch on the left flipper, otherwise it's gonna drain down that 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 hole. New challenge for sure. All right, let's see how far we can get. Oh, there we go. We got up the ramp. Let's hit that drop target. Nope. Back up the ramp one more time. I still don't kind of quite know what target I'm going for yet. Damn it. Okay. 103,000. All right, let's see. I think that might be enough to put me into first place. Let me double check. All right. Theater Blords submitted. Oh. Oh, look at that. P Dubs is playing right now. P Dubs is playing. And because there was only like three leaders a second ago, and now. Uh, Dubs already has the top two scores at 505,000. I was literally just playing this a second ago, and uh, Dante Frost and Drakey83 was, was the top scores, and Dubs went in here and dropped two high scores immediately because he's like, I want to be number one. Dubs wants to be number one and take everybody down. That's awesome. But he's he's spelling his name wrong. P Dubs is like, I'm D U C. No, I'm D U D. I don't think he's going to, he might have three eventual scores on here, but. Kudos to you, Dubs. I'm number three behind you. I might, after this stream, go back and, and try to beat your high score because I like this table. It's going to be a little bit more challenging. All right, my last table to play is the Legend of Cage. This At the end of the Edo period, the Princess of the Castle, Princess Kirihime, was kidnapped by Demon Army Corps that was revived from the land of the Demon World. At the time, a young man ran to the Magic Castle to rescue the princess. The young man is the Ninja Kage in, in Iga no Sato. Rescue Kirihime and defeat Yukigusa Yoshiro leads his army and Kiri Yukinosuke, um, his right hand man. The pinball tables include pop parts. Uh, pinball parts is dropped, spot targets, pump uppers, and three flippers. All right, that's a lot of Japanese legend lore right there. The legend of Cage. So maybe it's not the legend of Cage, it's the legend of Kage. Because in Japanese characters, you would say Kage instead of Cage. The but but they're saying it's the Legends of Cage. All right, I was going to try to be like, hey, you pronounce it really like a Japanese character? But there's a lot of stuff going on there. All right, Ray Rockworth says, you feel like the AOP doesn't get enough love for what it is other than the issues with the exciter speakers. You're really happy with your purchase. I, I agree that there's a lot of replay value in the, in the Legends pinball machine out of all the other virtual pinball machines in the market. I do have to th say though, like, Having this back box that I, there, as well as like my PC games to play virtual pinball FX tournaments and the OTG support is probably one of the best things for replay value. Um, but yeah, so this is the Legend of Cage table. Definitely a simpler table, but I don't know if it's me, but I'm listening to the music. Maybe this is the same as the real game, but this this sounds almost exactly like the jet, the last table that we played. And now this is like reminding me of like the previous packs where it's like, hey, these are just like generic reskins of tables. So I don't know if this is a, if this is the real music, but it's interesting. But there's some interesting artwork in the background. Let's test it out. All right, we're gonna get in here. Cool spider shirt. What's up, Papa Brad? AOP is pretty good. I do. I like my AOP. I I put, oh my goodness, did I just lose a ball already? No way. I just lost the ball. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is really annoying. This is one of those tables that's almost like, it's almost like, um, look, you have two flippers on the right hand side right here. But when you open it up, it creates a trap in the hole for you to lose your ball down. So that's kind of like, it's hard. You can't, you can't capture the ball on the right side because otherwise you're gonna, you can't trap it on the right side because it'll go down. That's what just happened. Left side is here. So there's two flippers up here. That's actually kind of annoying. So it's one of those challenging tables. See if I can just get the camera there. All right, let's see if we can do. Let's not let's not capture the ball on the left hand on the right hand side then. All right, so we have drop target centers in the middle. It's the bumper. And I already lost my I already lost my second ball. I didn't check to see what the high score was either. 
Let's see the leaderboard really fast. So the leaderboard is uh, P Dubs Arcade Loft at 350. Look, look at P Dubs putting in the work. He's getting high scores on every single table. I knew P Dubs saw me playing and was like, leaderboards just got turned on. He was like, I'm going to be first place on all these tables. I bet that's what he's doing right now. He's like, going to work. He's like, I'm going to be number one on all these tables. Take a picture and be like, I'm number one. I'm number one. Well, I'll tell you out right after this stream, P-Duds, I'm coming for all your top spots because uh, I play better when I'm concentrating and not talking at the same time. So um, we will we will see see how long your first place score lasts for right now because they have to learn to play the tables. And you have to play, you know, pinball is one of those things where you learn, the more you play it, obviously, the more you learn. It's just like any game you play. And it, it takes so long to kind of figure out, you know, the best, the best ways to score, the way to keep the balls running. I'd say you'd have to play a single table at least for like 20 to 30 minutes to get a really good feel for the table. So it's kind of hard to like rush through these tables and give you an immediate first opinion. I'm just kind of giving you my my first thoughts and I've drained my first two balls in like two seconds already and I've only had 44,000 so not a good run. Out of probably I don't know, from a table design perspective, I'd say this one is probably like my least favorite of the four. That and the music, I don't know, the music just seems too generic for me. I, it might have to look up these games itself. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan gameplay wise of like these two flippers because it's, it's probably just a little bit more of a challenge. But maybe I'll like it. Maybe it's a new challenge that I should probably embrace that, hey, there's these two flippers and I can like lose it if it, if it um, if it goes down that drain. So we'll see. All right. So I finished that round of drop targets in the middle. I'm on my last ball already. Let's see if I can get a really good run. Last ball run. Last ball run. Isn't that, isn't that cool sometimes where you can like really, really make use of your last ball? How do I move that up to our orbit bonus? All right. I don't know if that's doing anything. Okay, the orbit bonus went up to 2,000. I got that drop target to drop there. I got a special. All right, I think I'm almost at the special if I finish all those drop targets in the middle again. All right. Going to the orbit one more time, going down. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, look at my score. My score is already almost 500,000. I might be overtaking P-dubs right now. I might be speaking too soon. I'm going to say that right now and then I'm going to die. I need to hit that special drop target right there. I think each of those drop targets is giving me like 100,000 each. Yes. Yes, one more. One more, baby. Yes. That was a good run. Look at this. This last ball was excellent for me. I think I got like 500,000 on my last ball run. And I think I just took over P Dubs for number one spot. Yeah, that's always exciting. Oh no, I just drowned. I just lost my last ball. Six hundred and forty thousand. Okay, so you can rack up points pretty easily. I think you can get to a billion. Pretty oh, I I guess I got a free ball. Nice. I drained, but I got a free ball. All right, that orbit shot is nice. Yeah. Okay, I take it back. I am starting to like this table a little bit more. But <laughs> at first, I think it's because I lost my first two balls so quickly. I was like, what the heck? But uh, after, oh man, that sucked. That totally sucked. All right. I just lost it down the right drain side. All right. I think I did it. I think I took number one on this table. Let's see. All right, let's go. Quick game. I have to, I have to go quick because Dubs is trying to get number one scores. Yeah! 664,000. There it is, right there. You guys can see it. I know it's hard to see. There it is. Kong's Us. B. 664,000. That's right. All right, so that was uh, just meant to be a quick look. I want to see where I'm at with the other one. So with uh, Bubble Bobble, I'm still number one on Bubble Bobble during this live stream at 44,000. So I was able to do that. Let's see, The Legend of Cage. I'm number one right now so far. I mean, it's cheating because the game's not out yet, right? And so once comes Friday, I'm sure I'll be bumped down, but I can say at least I'm this far. Um, Arkanoid, 
I am number oh I'm I'm number six. I'm got I've gotten dropped on Arkanoid. I gotta spend more time on Arkanoid, so I'm not in the top five for that. And then for Rainbow Islands, let's see, I made it to top four. So I'm in the top four right now. And um yeah, so overall thoughts on these packs. I think these packs are are definitely worth purchasing. They're probably like the best pinball tables that are on the Legends pinball machine from a stock perspective that you can buy. Like these title packs, I like these way better than the Zakari ones. Zakari ones are, you know, they're Zachariah. They're like reskins of like similar tables, like same theme, but like slightly new elements. So it doesn't sometimes feel like a new table. It's like, oh, let's play uh, Air Ace Combat like three times or whatever that game is called. And there's just three different versions of like the same type of table name. So it's hard to like feel like it's a different table. But for folks that had just joined in the stream and joined pretty lately, this table, the marquee game on here, Bubble Bobble, is probably the best game on here just because of the sound elements. And like it's fun because it's the video game style. If you're a traditional pinball fan, obviously these video game style games aren't like campaign themed uh, tables. Um, they're, they're a little bit harder to, to play. But yeah, let's play one more time for folks that join in a little bit late. This is Bubble Bobble, but listen. Real legit bubble bobble music. Yeah, just the fact that you have the real bubble bobble music and the gameplay is, is at least different enough from the Space Invaders or Operation Wolf tables. I really like this table uh, just because of the music elements. Like playing a theme campaign version of this it kind of makes sense i think they're finding titles where you're fighting enemies that kind of makes sense because in bubble bobble you are fighting enemies and they use the same enemies the the sprites are all different too they're not all the same they're using different types of enemies from the different games in fact on the back glass you can see the different types of enemies that they're um that they included in the gameplay so this is actually a really fun table mostly I say like 75% of the fun comes from the fact that it's using the soundtrack. I like that. I like that a lot. Because Bubble Bobble is not Bubble Bobble without the soundtrack. I got to level 7 last time I was playing this. So that was, that was pretty good for me on my first run. The only thing about these campaign tables is that it also can take a really long time depending on how long you're playing the game. Did you want to play Bubble Bobble? This is a song you end up humming hours after you play the game. It looks great for video pinball. Uh, you are right, Papa Brad's Gaming. Papa Brad's Gaming, this game is... I think I'm going to have the theme song for Bubble Bobble stuck in my head for quite some time right now. But the, the first time I was playing, I felt like I was hearing the theme song more. Maybe, I don't know if I entered a certain mode or if it's per level or something. Yeah, because yeah, the theme song was playing a lot more the first- oh there it goes. Maybe it plays at the beginning of every level or something. Alright, I'm losing a lot of lives right now. My 6,000 points. I like the sound effects too. The sound effects pretty are just fun. And they're shooting like um, the two dragons that are down here. They're shooting the bubbles, the actual bubbles from Bubble Bobble. So that's pretty fun. Just the little elements like, and when you're shooting everybody too, it like, it has the actual bubbles coming out. So like they're bubble missiles too. Everything about it is just pretty fun. Pretty fun so far. They got, they captured the spirit of the game in pinball for sure. There is a video version of pinball that made sense. This is definitely the best one. So I guess like final thoughts just to kind of wrap up the stream. 
you know, this volume pack compared to volume pack one and two, I'm gonna have to say it. I think this is my favorite out of the three volume packs in terms of just the table designs and the elements. Like, I wasn't a big fan of elevator action in the first, uh, the second pack. I really didn't like Operation Wolf. Like, Operation Wolf, for some reason, that game just did not work for me. Like, the gameplay was a little bit s stale. It, it felt really too much like a repeat of Space Invaders, and it wasn't as fun to play. Uh, and the table designs of some of the second tables didn't really appeal to me. I didn't really like um, Zookeeper as well. I think Chalk and Pop was my favorite in the second pack, so Taito Volume Pack 2 didn't do it for me. Uh, number 1 was fun because I really like Frontline, so I'm actually looking forward to going back and playing Taito Pack version 1 again because I I think I, I read and, and saw that Dubs was saying um, on the Super Game Room dudes or on his Multi-Kid Monday show that they updated the Taito Pack, so I'm, I'm, I want to go back and play those earlier pinball tables. But I would say this one is probably my favorite out of the bunch in terms of table designs. All four table designs look really fun. And I was having a decent time. I like how they're somewhat different. They're not all the same style. So uh, yeah, volume pack number three is where it's at. I'm gonna see how far I get. Finish up this game and then we'll call it a night. All right, all right. I was saying the, the key to these stages are not actually hitting the not actually hitting your targets, it's all about hitting... It's not about hitting the enemies, it's about hitting other targets on the table so that you can like kill everybody. Stage 5 completed. Have 3 lives left. And a fireball with no enemies on stage, that's a waste. Alright, we did a freeze. We did a freeze. I'm still kind of learning what everything does on the table too. So those are lightnings. That's a frozen. Another frozen. All right, that's lightning. All right, I have two lives left. Frozen. All right, I think my high score was forty-three thousand before, and I'm at twenty-eight thousand right now. Let's see how far I can get. Be fun to post another high score. Oh, all right. I'm down to my last life so far. Oh no. Okay. But there's four enemies on the stage, and I'm not doing, not doing too hot. Oh my goodness. All right, we gotta, gotta start taking out some more people. Oh my goodness. I keep losing. I keep losing balls down the drain. All right. Balls. Pull. Okay. Pull. Alright, come on, come on. Alright, that's a half-life. Shooting missiles. Alright, made it to stage 6 complete. I made it to level 7. Okay, let's see how far we can get on level 7. I think this is where I died last time. Monster wave incoming. Did a freeze. Alright, let's see if we can get up there. Alright, the, the longer that... The more monsters come out, the harder it is to shoot up the ramp. So that, that always gets frustrating at these games. Come on. Get out of there. Alright, three lives. Boing. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah, oh, I keep doozing. Keep, I keep draining. Shoot the missile, shoot the missile, shoot the missile. Missile, missile, missile. I'm gonna die. I think this is the stage I, li I died in last time too. Oh, I got two more left. Come on. Missiles. More missiles. Alright, I think I'm dead. Unless something mir miraculous happens. Am I gonna survive? Am I gonna survive? Come on. Go down. Go down. I need to shoot some more target. Half-life. That was good. Oh, 38,000. Okay. Alright. Oh, I might survive this stage. I might do it. Boom. Alright. He's dead. Alright, I survived the stage. Oh my goodness, I'm in stage 7 complete. Alright. There's a big old tornado on the screen, but I have no enemies to take out. Come on. Alright. Ooh. 
Boom. Ooh, fireball is good. It's taking out a lot of people for me. Good. Nice. 43,000. Oh, that fireball was such good timing. Took out a lot of enemies. Alright, 52,000. I beat my high score. That's good. Boom. Oh, I keep draining. I'm so glad that they, this game doesn't really care about lives too much. Alright. Loop shot. Alright. I have about five enemies on the screen left that I need to take out. They are blocking my access to other stuff though. Oh yeah. Okay, glad the kickback worked. Playing. Let's see if I can get some ammo. Ah! <laughs> it keeps drowning. Alright, oh my good. I, I made it past stage eight. Ricardo, what's up, man? This table looks like it's a lot faster than Space Invaders. I would say something to that effect. I might, ag I might agree with that. This table, like, um, I think the creatures are moving much faster than Space Invaders. Because in Space Invaders, you know how like they move kind of slowly. Now I have like all these animal, like all the creatures are just. They already got directly to. They already got there almost immediately. Like it's hard for me to even do anything right now because they're all blocking my path to everything. So they got, they got to the um, to my character so fast. I think they're all gonna like. Oh, I'm gonna die. There's no way. There's one more left. You're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Game over. Game over. Game over. Half-Life. Game over. Alright, it says game over on the screen. 65,599 points. What does that get me? I believe that is good enough right now to put me... I'm at 44,000 on the leaderboards. When I exit back, it should put me on the online leaderboards. So let's go ahead and quit game. And confirm that your boy Kongs of Rust is currently number one on the leaderboard for Bubble Bobble. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for everybody for joining in and checking it out. This was really quick, you know, first thoughts on the Taito Volume 3 Pinball. I hope you guys enjoy. I highly recommend it based on the gameplay that I've seen so far. Thanks at Games for sending me an early copy. I was able to test out the gameplay. I would purchase this uh, personally, like 20 bucks. Not bad, not a bad deal. All right, thanks everybody. <laughs> Tell them when to jump into the chat. Let me see if there's any other last questions. Unmodded and stock parts, one guy said button does work. Um, they have the Mandalorian at the bowling alley where you play. It's pretty good, awesome. Kong is really good at this. He asked if you thought if it would be worth it. Tell him to go jump into the chat, boom. We're saying goodnight to everybody. Good, it's bedtime. It is bedtime. Oh wait. Are you going to smack me? Yeah. Oh. Too late. All right. Good night.